Hi, I'm Brian Stark, and I'm excited to show you the all-new Field Manager, a critical part of the software for viewing, editing, adding, and printing reports for your field activities. Please note only verified tasks will show up here. By picking the crop year and field name, the task will appear. In this example, we have one planting activity, and the small colored thumbnail next to it lets you know a coverage map is available. The arrow next to the thumbnail gives the detail for the task. If you see something incorrect, click the three dots and choose Edit. In my example, the weather information was not entered on the display. To add weather, go to the Conditions tab and click Add. You can enter the weather manually or click the Get Weather Conditions button. Get Weather can retrieve historical weather information automatically and fill in the records for you. Please note, this button requires a paid subscription to Ag Premium Weather. Once we make our way back to the Activities area, you'll see the weather information is now part of the planting record. If you're using Farmer Fit or Farmer Pro, you have the ability to add a task manually. To do that, hit the Add Task button. It will default with the correct field and crop year. Hit OK. Now you can choose the operation type from the drop-down list. And I'm going to backdate it to the correct year and time. And based on the time, it will fill in the time worked for me. Choose Materials is where I can add chemicals. In my example, I've got Roundup there to pick from. I'm going to add. And based on the acres and the uh, target rate, it tells me I should have used 2.38 gallons. And if this is incorrect, this is your chance to override it and uh, correct it. Uh, application type, you pick that for the drop down list. And restricted entry interval is 48 hours for me. And I'm going to choose the OK button. Other information can be filled in, such as the equipment for this task. I'm going to choose vehicle and I'm going to add my row gator. If you want to track operators, that can also be done. And conditions. So just like the uh, planting job, I can hit the add button and I can hit get weather conditions. Fills in all that detail for me. And now I'm going to work my way back to the field activity screen. And I can now see that corn spraying job. Other important information can be found on the tabs. By clicking on the Profitability tab, you'll see the equipment and materials assigned to the field, showing overall profitability with a helpful pie chart. To add miscellaneous expenses and revenue, go to the other tab and click Add. Here we can add a description, such as rent expense. This is going to be a fixed expense because it's going to reoccur to my other cash rent fields. I'm going to add my expense per acre and choose OK. Now going back to the profitability tab, we can see this new fixed expense and how it reflects the overall field profitability. You can add as many miscellaneous expenses and revenue as you wish. Now if we navigate to the right, we see other tabs showing us all the materials used for the tasks. This gives us more flexibility for deleting and editing. To print a proof of placement report, go to the three dots and click View Report. Here we can see the field task, including the coverage map and weather information. Thank you for learning more about the new Field Manager feature. Please subscribe to our channel to receive future software videos.